right, let's see if I can refrain from breaking stuff one last time. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to one last very quick ride in Farming Simulator 19. Today, we are on the MM Millennial Farmer map from Mappers Paradise. And we are going to do a short little let's play and uh, have a little bit of fun on this map. I never really got to truly play this map and I regret that a lot because it's a really cool map, but there's a whole lot to it. It's in its final version now, so it's gotten all the updates that it'll possibly get. Everything's been fixed, everything's been working, and it's exactly the way you would want it to be. So, we are going to take full advantage of that. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. But remember, we do things a little bit differently here, and that is going to be exactly the same this time around. I'm not gonna be playing true or realistic to real life. We're not gonna be doing what Zach does on the farm. Just gonna be doing my thing. As Jamie Kemp said, missing the nostalgic DJ Let's Plays. Just be yourself and play the way you want and record. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna have fun. That being said, I do have some goals and things that I want to accomplish in this Let's Play. There's things that I want to do that I kinda haven't done the way I wanted to since I started playing Farming Simulator 19. I haven't built my own farm. I haven't made my own area. I haven't done any of that other than like the Goham Co when the game first launched. So I'm gonna take advantage of that situation and we're pretty much gonna get rid of a lot of the stuff, maybe not everything, but we're gonna be getting rid of a lot of stuff definitely here at the pig farm and definitely down at the other animal farm. Some things will be left to normal, like a lot of these buildings over here, the silo, things like that, different buildings around do like that house, so we're gonna leave that. But there's some things that I don't use, probably would never use and haven't used it yet three years later, so why start now, including bunker silos? Yeah, I'm just gonna cheat in the silage. Sorry, that's never gonna change. Horses! I've really been a fan of doing horses at Farm Sim 19, so that's gonna be gone. And, uh, to be honest with you, I don't like being limited to two or three hundred sheep or cows. So, we're gonna get rid of all of this. And we're gonna place down our own that hold 500, and we'll probably do two or maybe even three of each. I wanna do a lot of animals on here. We're talking. A thousand, fifteen hundred cattle, maybe a thousand sheep, stuff like that. And of course, chickens. I mean, you gotta have chickens in seasons. Yeah, by the way, I'm using seasons and precision farming. I'm a global company. Don't tell my mom. And on top of all of that, there's tons of land to be owned as well. When you start off, of course, you've got your main farm and you've got field number three. Well, I want this area which means that I'm gonna need this area, plus I need somewhere that does some type of grass or something like that because I'm not gonna have a pig farm here anymore. We're gonna start off with a single cattle farm, maybe cattle and sheep. We're gonna rebuild this entire farm. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So, how's about this? Let's go ahead and jump in and get started and let's sell some of the equipment that comes with the map and new farmer. First things first, let's go around and let's see if there's anything that we want to keep or anything that we want to save or get rid of completely. Now, of course, combines, we're gonna be going with the John Deere X9 combine. Why would you not? Uh, as far as tractors go, the base game tractors are fine. However, uh, Sid and Steam Camp and JHHG modding, they've all got some better ones. So we're gonna use those instead. And we've got 3D tracks on some of that stuff as well. So we're gonna be going with an 8RX for sure, probably an 8R normal, and maybe the 8RT as well. I'm kind of back and forth about all that. We'll figure it out. Trucks, I really like these trucks. However, uh, I like the TLX uh, <laughs> Phoenix a little bit better. So we're gonna go with that. I like these trailers, they're cool, but they're not gonna hold enough. So we're gonna have to figure out a plan around that. And to top it all off, I gotta figure out how to use the silo because I have no idea how to use the silo. I got an idea, it's just probably not the right idea. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun to figure out. Yay. All right, let's just jump in and let's go ahead and start getting rid of stuff. Because we're in seasons, we can sell things without having to worry about, uh, well, anything at all so let's get it started boom goodbye goodbye 
And then goodbye to this as well. I don't remember which tipper is which, so we're going to have to figure that out. Uh, we've also got the Hallmaster. I got one that holds half a million liters, so we don't care there. Headers, four meter cultivator. Bye. Sprayers, of course. Get out of here. I think there's all animal pens left. We've got the dog. Yeah, we'll leave. We'll leave the dog. And then we're going to leave the rest of this stuff as well, at least for right now, because that's going to be a little down the road. The biggest question here is the X9. As you know, or as you may know, the X9 Combine got an update. Well, I've got a modified version of the X9 Combine, and unfortunately, my modified version doesn't have 3D tracks. And I want 3D tracks on my modified version. So we're gonna make one real quick. There is a real easy way to do this. I'm gonna walk you through it. First, you just need to download a new copy. Then you wanna take that folder and you want to extract it. This is gonna allow us to modify it. Now that it's extracted, we're gonna go inside the folder and we want to find our XML folders. Easy way to do that, go into view, go to details, and then sort by folder type. We're gonna get four XML files in this folder itself. We've got the XML for the X9 and all in general. Uh, we also have the 1100 in here, and those are gonna be for the USA and EUs. So we have four of those, and then of course we have the overall version as well. We don't need the EU version, we just want to modify our large version, but we may as well modify the rest while we're here. So go in, select the files that you want. We're gonna select all four of the ones we want, and we're gonna open with Notepad++. Plus plus. And here we're gonna find a lot of different things, including the file names at the top. So you could see here, we have the X9 1000 US, then we have the 1100 US, the 1000 EU, and the 1100 EU. In here, there's only a couple things that we want to change because I want to keep uh, the essence and what the mod is. We want to keep that basically the same. However, I need to find fill volume. And you're going to find those all through here. You can see we've got our first fill unit here, 14,800, 17,800, 26,900. Those are all different types of toppers. However, for us, well, I just kind of want them all to be like, I don't know, 250,000. Does that sound pretty good? Sounds pretty good to me. So we're going to make all of them 250,000. At the end of that, we do update mass equals false. So update mass equals false. I haven't done this in so long. I haven't played the game in so long. There you go. And then simply, I'm just going to take this whole thing and copy it anywhere that I see capacity. Boop. Just like so, we're going to copy. Another one you want to find is dischargeable. If you don't do anything with this number, it's going to unload so slow. It's going to be absolutely awful and you're not going to have anything to do with it. I'm going to set this to 5,000. Usually it's around 500, something like that. Uh, silos usually around 2,000. So we're just going to set this to 5,000 because imagine sitting there with 250,000 liters, 5,000 liters a second, still gonna take you a little while. Two more things that you wanna do before you get done with this. Of course, you can see right here, we have X9 1000 US. And I just wanna add modded at the end of that. What that's gonna do is that's gonna tell me in the game, okay, cool, that's a version that either I made or is modified in some way, shape, or form. And this will give you the ability to find your version in the game. Pretty cool there. Lastly, open up your mod description and in here again, you just wanna put in modified or changed or something like that that'll let you know, hey, this right here, this is the one that I did. And lastly, just go through and you want to send it all to a compressed folder. Ta-da! And then put it in your mod folder and you're good to go. Hey, it worked! Here it is. Ba-boom, baby. Let's start up. Now we've got everything that we needed. We've got our US modded and our EU modded, as you can see, 250,000 liters plus because I didn't override the pack. We've still got everything that we had beforehand as well. I don't know, that's something really cool. I like that. I think that's neat. Uh, today, we're going to be going with the X9 1100 US. I mean, we got to go with this. Uh, I can't remember what that changes, but we're going with black. Uh, standard capacity. I actually really like the folded version right here. Something about it 
I just prefer these. You guys know I kind of like European styling on tractors. Anyway, don't tell anybody. Uh, Michelin tires. Should we go with big Michelin tires? I think that's the way to go. So we're going to go with a big 36 inch crawler with a four wheel drive. Uh, this is something a little interesting. You see here, used second hand. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. This is a PC mod that I totally forgot about called buy used. So I'm going to buy used. All we have to do is repair it afterwards. We can also increase the base horsepower if we want, but we're not going to do that. We are going with deluxe lighting. We're going with a rear uh, boom kind of thing right there. Should we go with a big John Deere logo on the front? I kind of like the John Deere right there. It's a little tacky, but I don't know. Something about it. Let's go with it. And then no Aussie configuration oversize. Should we do the Aussie configuration? You guys like that? I think that's kind of cool. Why not? Let's go for it. Boom. That is mine, baby. <whistles> We're probably going to need two of these at some point, but I think for right now, maybe we just wait until we need a second one. Don't. Yeah, there you go. Uh, another one is the 8RX. Now, I don't think we've got the... Uh, I don't think we got the 3D track models of these yet. Doesn't look like it. Um, even though I think I still have my 3D track versions. Yeah, I still got mine, but these like to slide around a little bit. So I think at least for right now, let's just stick with like the non 3D tracked version. I think that'll be fine. Let's go with the front three point. Again, we're going to go with a used version. Windows will leave exactly the way it is. You know what? Let's let's stick with the oversized signs. I kind of dig those. Uh, position number two on that. The widest tracks possible. That's what I want to go with. Big engine. Yup. No additional screens. That will work for me there. Here's another one. And this got an update uh, yeah, not long ago. The 9RT. I think we should go with this. If we're going to go for it, let's go for it. Big Big, big machine all the way. Let's go with those big, big wide tracks. Um, let's see. Should we go with the uh, <laughs> wide thousand killer? You know what? Why not, right? Why not? Let's keep it all the ground. Let's make the price go down a little bit. U.S. version numbers. I don't care about numbers or anything like that. Beacons. Who needs those? Three point. Sure, because eventually we'll need it. And of course, you want to go with the 9570. We want to go all the way up with that. Uh, surprise, 570 horsepower. So just me or you want more than that? I kind of want more horsepower than that. Uh, but there's at least for n now. Oh, I forgot where they go. Oh, I forgot how to use this. Oh, we're going to have to do that too, aren't we? Hey, now that's what I'm talking about right here. Check this out, baby. Yeah. Uh, love it absolutely love it we're probably going to need one more tractor because obviously an 8rx and the 9rt are going to be a little bit big for us so we want to go with something a little bit smaller here's what i've gone for we wanted to keep it small something that we throw a sprayer on put it into the field stuff like that at least before we get like 4940 something like that and this is it this is going to be the 6m medium size i think this is from blue organ or S uh, steve mod something like that it's on mod hub all this stuff's on mod hub so you guys can use that which is really nice again got some used second hand wide tires michelins at that and uh there you go big engine on it 172 horsepower along with the front loader attacher so we got all of that on there i don't know what we use the front loader for but uh well we got it don't we we sure do next up something uh well we need planters don't we Oof. Yeah, before we do that, uh, this little thing right here, I mean, it, well, it's not showing up anywhere. It's part of those uh, those things that are at the shop. As you know, or you may know, you've got stuff at the shop here. Um, yeah, I don't want that. So I'm going to go in, and I'm actually going to sit here and sell this. Now, it's, I think I made, you know, what, like a grand, something like that. And of course, now i got to return that. Spent two grand on that. <laughs> so it spent me $1,000 just to get all that done. Rabble. Let's open this up. I don't think there's anything else around here. It looks like these are the only bits and pieces, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a few of these and try and get some of this equipment out of here so that we can make a little bit of room. In the process of picking up a few things, we already got the smaller John Deere over there. We got a couple fertilizer spreaders. Uh, yeah, I think you knew which cedar unit we were going to go with, so shouldn't be any surprise here. I am not going for the patented liquid card on the back, at least not yet. We might do that... Uh, in a ladder episode later on, maybe. Is this going to get out of here? 
It is, but we gotta turn around. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, so we're gonna have to come out back here. Are you kidding me? How am I gonna get this turned around in here? This ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna be good. Uh, also, you probably ask yourself, why am I not using something bigger? Like, uh, I mean, the 9RT is cool, but why am I not using something like the, you know, 9R or 9RX, something like that? Well, simply put, I haven't used this and I like it. So there you go. That's, that's my reasoning. All right. Turning around in here was a little bit too easy. Now I'm scared that this isn't going to be very easy. And yet it is. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, a couple things that I will need. Eventually, we do need fuel. I'm probably going to get that over near the main farm. We'll put down something. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Nice. Uh, we'll probably put something down because, as you can see, I don't have any fuel in here. We don't have any fuel hardly in anything else. Uh, yeah, so it's all there. Uh, a couple of extra things that I need here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head back to the main farm, maybe. we got to get a header on here. A uh, corn head and a normal grain head. As a matter of fact, we can go ahead and get those now with you guys. So, as far as grain heads, I'm going to be going with one of my modified versions. Actually, not a modified version. I'm just going to go with a standard version. But it's not a John Deere. It is, but it's, it's not. I'll explain. This right here. The Lizard Header Pack. Love this. I love these so much. Uh, I love these because I can change like the middle part black and not have to worry about it. I loved being able to do that. And you got John Deere there. We'll change the outside color to John Deere as well. I want to see John Deere header, but yeah. Boop. There we go. Now we got John Deere on it. But it's not uh, not all crazy like. It doesn't have green everywhere. Eh, a little too much green to get to you. So there you go. I like that. And then, of course, of our corn header. So there's a couple options here. Probably going to go with this one, the Capeo Quasar HS16. But I'm going to look through and see if there's anything else that maybe I want to go with. I also have the JHHG headers right here installed, the 12.3 meters. So they are bigger. However, they don't fold. And that's a, uh, that's a bit of an issue with me. Also, we have the uh, Hallmark or the uh, Olimac. I do have a modified version here, but that's just the speed. Nothing else changed about it. Corn header. <laughs> oh, yeah. Forgot. Uh, this will. Yeah. It's cool. It's a little bit big, but it's cool. Uh, I think, yeah, I think at the end of the day, honestly, I'm just going to go with like the Capeo right here. Matter of fact, I think the version at the very end, I know I'm sitting here talking to myself, but yeah, I think this version right here, you can actually change the colors a little bit better. So I'm going to see if I could do John Deere yellow there and maybe John Deere green there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I know it's not like the green green all over. And just to show you guys what that would look like right here. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of that. Maybe, ooh, maybe with the inside being black. Nah, I really don't like that. Kind of like that overall. One more option. Oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, I think maybe for now, let's just go with a solid green everywhere and be done with it. Also, there's a logo on the inside. Uh, I'm going to make that a non-blue green. Green doesn't look good. White, black, black. Let's just go with black and be done with it. So now we've got all that, and here's what that looks like. And we've got a bunch of equipment as well. Here's something that we could do now. What you want to do, go into your owned items, and we're literally just going to go down the list, and I'm going to hit left of my D-pad. So we've got repair, repair, repair. All of this stuff needs repairing because I may or may not have bought stuff used, and therefore it needs to be repaired, and it's like 100% in disrepair, or almost rather. So there we go, going through there. I think that's all the equipment itself, and it is. I'm gonna buy a few more pieces and we'll see you guys over the main farm. So there it is, we're back on the farm and I think this is where we're gonna leave it today. We've got just enough done. We've got our equipment here, at least the starting equipment. We don't really have our land picked out yet, but that's going to all be covered in episode number two two so I, I i don't know when that's gonna come out i gotta be honest with you guys you mods have been weird news has been weird so whenever there's a lack of news or mods i will put that out but we will be continuing this so stay tuned for that if there's anything you want to see me do let me know otherwise hope you enjoyed this one if you did drop a like get subscribed join the gohan fam notifications all the things 
You know what to do. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.